Hey everybody, this is Bill from Family Handyman. If you're a cat lover and been wanting to build your own DIY cat house, I've got the perfect project for you today. The mid-century modern design we came up with is proportioned for your average size cat, but it'll also function as a side table for a couch or chair. This is a really easy project to build and super cool, so let's get started. So all the parts that you need for this project will come out of one four by eight sheet of three quarter inch birch plywood. The easiest way to handle a full sheet is to have your home store or lumber yard cut it in half for you. You'll get it home easier that way and it's much safer and easier to handle on the table saw. Once you have your two four by four sheets, lay out all your pieces as I have here and uh, get to cutting them on the table saw and the miter box. After cutting out all my panels, I then ripped inch and a half strips on the table saw, which I took to the miter box to cut my cleats and build up pieces. So now that I have all my parts cut out, the first thing I'm gonna assemble are the sides. That involves a side panel and these cleats, which go flush with the bottom, and we're just gonna glue and pin those on with a nailer. I'm using inch and a half, 18 gauge nails, here that go in the gun and just standard wood glue will do fine. Now that the side panels are assembled, I'm gonna attach the fronts and the backs, making sure that I keep my outside edges flush using glue and again, inch and a half brads, making sure that the inch and a half nails go through the cleat and into the side panel as well. To assemble our bottom, middle, and top platform, we're gonna add these inch and a half wide uh, three-quarter build-up strips. Um, we've already cut them to length. We've got mitered corners. Um, we wanna make sure that our outside edges are as flush as possible. So it's a good idea to dry fit things now and make any miter adjustments that are necessary. Also check your platform panel. Make sure that you're putting the bad side down. Um, I'm gonna attach things here with wood glue again and I'm changing to inch and a quarter brads so that the nails don't poke through the top of the platform. To cut the portholes, what I did is took a scrap piece of plywood and I sized it the same as the front or back of each box. Um, I chose a diamond shape. You can do whatever you want to do as far as the shape goes. This is uh, eight inches high, six and a half inches wide. I made sure there was enough meat top and bottom and that I stayed off the edge so that I didn't uh, run into my cleat. I'm also gonna use this template to cut the holes portholes in the middle platform as well. With the portholes all laid out, take a half inch drill and put pilot holes in opposite corners of the diamond then use a jigsaw to cut out the shape. Once you're done with your cuts, you can clean up the edges using a sanding block and some 120 grit sandpaper or a fine wood rasp. With the portals cut out, it's time to sand all the exposed plywood edges flush using a random orbital sander with 120 grit paper. Make sure you take the sanding block and round over all the hard edges as well. So in order to attach the platforms to the boxes, you want to start with the bottom box turned upside down and attach the bottom platform there using two inch trim head screws. Then place the top platform on the top of the upper box and again attach with two inch trim screws. If you're painting or clear coating this project, now's a good time to do so to the inside of the lower and upper box before attaching the middle platform. Then place the middle platform on top of the lower box assembly and attach with trim head screws.
Place the upper box assembly on the middle platform. Line things up and then from underneath the middle platform, toe screws up into the back, the front, and the sides. So there you have it, the cat house side table. You can choose to finish this any way you want. I'm gonna clear coat this one because I like the look of the exposed plywood edges. Um, but if you have a higher woodworking aptitude, you can go ahead and veneer those for a super clean look, or you could just paint the whole thing. So for more fun projects like this, visit us at familyhandyman.com.